Instant stenosis is a problem for anyone caring for patients who have received a coronary stent. For interventional cardiologists, it has not been clear what the best method for transcatheter treatment actually is. Balloon, cutting balloon, or stent within a stent. In general, I think most interventional cardiologists would favor cutting balloon therapy in focal lesions and stent within stent for more diffuse lesions. Now in Jack, researchers from Korea report on a comparison of treatment strategies for in-stent stenosis of drug-eluting stents, according to the morphologic pattern of the in-stent stenosis. Patients with drug-eluting stents and in-stent stenosis were randomized according to lesion length to compare outcomes of serolimus eluting stent implantation versus cutting balloon angioplasty for focal, that is, less than 10 millimeter lesions, and serolimus versus everolimus eluting stents within stent implantation for diffuse, that is, more than 10 millimeter lesions. The primary endpoint was in segment late loss at nine months. 96 patients with focal and 66 patients with diffuse in stent stenosis were enrolled. Here's what they found. In focal lesions, late loss was higher in the cutting balloon group than in the serolimus eluding stent group, with a consequent in-segment restenosis rate that was higher in the cutting balloon group than in the serolimus group, at 21% versus 3%, though with small numbers and a wide variation, the p-value was only 0.06. However, this did not relate to clinical outcomes. There were almost identical incidents of the composite of death MI or target vessel revascularization at 12 months of clinical follow-up. In 66 cases of diffuse instant stenosis, in-segment late loss was really minimal, overall usually less than a half a millimeter. In-segment restenosis rate and the composite incidence of death MI or target lesion revascularization did not differ between the serolimus or everolimus groups. The authors conclude that for drug eluting stent stenosis that is focal, repeat implantation of a serolimus eluting stent is more effective in reducing late luminal loss and subsequent restenosis rate than cutting balloon angioplasty. For diffuse drug eluting stent stenosis, implantation of everolimus or serolimus eluting stents are equally effective in terms of angiographic and clinical outcomes. What I take away from this study is that for focal lesions, cutting balloon therapy simply does not do as well as a stent in stent. I was going to say, doesn't cut it. Though I wish there were more patients in this study to potentially help out with a borderline p-value. For diffuse in stent stenosis, nothing is new. Putting a second drug eluting stent within a stent seems to be the best therapy. I'm Peter Block, and this is a CardiSource Heart Minute. <laughs>